unless you're giving me credit. Here's what I want to say about Kevin Samuels. This man triggered a lot of black women. It's all about how you choose to receive what somebody say. Whether that is going to offend you or if that's going to make you a better person. I listened to what Kevin said. And I agree with most of what he said because I don't look at what he said as a negative. I look at what he's saying. Can it enrich me? Can it make me better? And this is what I always say on my channel and in my life. If it makes me a better person, then I receive the information. Facts. I'm almost 40. I'm not married. I do have a boyfriend. Been with him for a long time. Can get married. We've talked about it. Don't have kids. And this is me being vulnerable telling you my personal business. Don't have kids is my choice. I just chose not to have kids. And yes, I do have fear sometimes. Maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> Who's going to take care of me? But the things that Kevin says is to me 100% right. I am not a 20 year old. Usually men of status look to get with a younger woman they want a woman that they can kind of mold they want a woman that they can give their children their legacy and they're looking for that healthy woman if we think about our sex value at an older age you've done been around the block you probably got some miles on you and I, what i what i find when women get very offended about what kevin has to say is because it's some truth to what he's saying period it's some truth to what kevin was saying as a man the fact that women are not men but they have the most loudest voice in the the the, the loudest opinion about what a men think yo that's not that's off it's off I respected what Kevin had to say because Kevin is a man and a lot of times when a man is speaking the truth about a woman it hurts but it's about how you choose to receive the information are you going to let that information tear you down or are you going to let that information build you up with knowledge a hypocrite in my honest opinion, he really was. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. He insulted uh, African-American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a sharp job. And you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out the negativity that you put out in the world that when karma comes knocking at your door she might not be so kind that would send a damn sure close signal that you're on trying to actually do something different it would also give your boys more time with the man they need to be with their father women over 35 years old sex value ratio drops men don't really want them this is my way of saying what kevin was saying and i hope that i'm saying it correctly is that true ladies is it true that if you're over 35 years old that a man of high status probably is going to look at the woman that's 25 years old is it true that at 35 years old a non-version woman doesn't have she got bodies on her she's, she's got miles on her she has more experience she's more set in her ways versus a woman that's younger that has less bodies potentially and is more naive and easy easier to manipulate and control uh, kevin never told a lie it is facts no man's gonna come in my life and tell me what to do what to think what to wear how to be they're not gonna be able to dictate my feelings it's no 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 try me when i was in my 20s and what i what i say that even me get me aging some i'm a lot more older in physical appearance than i was at 25 bubbly bubble butt and juicy skin and less blemishes less stress less so again he told no lie i i think that a lot of times with us black women we get offended like i always say y'all we have to master our emotions Meaning we have to be able to listen to what people saying without always taking it personal. Without always letting that tear us down. Just take the information. Like when Kim Kardashian made her statement about how you need to work. Get up off your butt and work. Black women got upset. 
black women was just just destroyed and distraught over that comment but we have this because we have this woman who is not black who is telling us this and telling us straight in the same way we would tell each other in the same voice it was more hard to stomach her and you got offended you tore you know you went for her juggler when she said that so much that she apologized but me i never got offended because like i said i have messed i've taught myself to listen to the message and and not pay attention so much so that i'm paying attention to the messenger that i'm offended if it's some kind of knowledge that's going to make you a better person just take that take the knowledge what kevin was saying he's not saying that you're you're not going to be able to ever find a man he's not saying that you're never going to have a high value man but i think that it was the fact that a man was telling you to your face you not who you think you are sis that you should probably get lose some weight probably work on your mind work on your emotion skill and your communication skill better yourself enrich yourself make yourself rich stop depending on a man to make you that way i think if we take the message it would be less insulting now what vivica is saying to me is another uh, uh 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 she's giving her opinion but it's another way that you're serving him right you're basically saying happy happy dance dance the man is dead the man is dead karma came and bit him on his butt and yes death came but i don't call i don't necessarily think i think that yes god isn't who sits god who sits high and looks low he's look at the way in the circumstances of which kevin passed away on top of a woman as far as what we know he passed away on a woman and the fact that this is the way he, he preached a message that was geared towards black women mostly because that's the women this his his audience and the fact that he died in woman that wasn't black <laughs> it kind of does come out it does look like yeah god got the you know what i'm saying but at the same time i think it was a lot more to it kevin i, I saw kevin drinking alcohol and the first thing because i know people that passed away in my family and suffer health issues because of drinking and high blood pressure and all these medical conditions and drinking and that was the way that when i saw kevin drink that he had a glass it looks like some dark beverage and i thought it was alcohol the first thing it triggered me because I, I i know based on experience you know a lot of times with men they don't go to the hospital they don't go to the therapist they just don't want to do nothing with they to take care of their health they think they can think it away and this is what is killing us it's killing us because you're not taking care of your health you know so yes there is some truth i think in that he passed away on a woman yes spiritually there is some truth but also physically but my thing is this as i close kevin he 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 de definitely worked and got his audience whether you liked him or not you serve him right when you celebrating his death because the women he was talking about are the women like look what you're doing you're you're actually celebrating a man's death this is the type of woman that he spoke against these kind of modern day women who are independent who just wants to be as equal as a man god made you in your role for a reason like you're never going to be equal to a man and a man is never going to be equal to a woman he separated our roles we have our positions we are the feminine body and we should we should master that we should master our roles stop trying to master someone else's role that you wasn't created to be and if a kevin samuels who gives you the truth or gives you something that he's you know as a man that can probably help you why don't you just listen to what he's saying stop taking it personal take yourself out of the situation just hear what he's saying receive the information leave what is not for you and stop being so sensitive because I see a lot of truth in what he's saying. Personally, I don't want a high value man. I'm not attracted to. I just feel like that's out of my league. I'm not out here trying to say that I want a high value man. Knowing that I'm not in a position to receive that responsibility. But sometimes y'all do. Y'all be wanting something that you know is out of your league. You know you, you, you overweight. And you could probably put down those sandwiches and ice cream. You know that. But yet you sitting here and you're saying that you deserve somebody that's worked 
take care of their health somebody that worked for what they have someone that sacrificed in their life what you're not willing to do in your life but you think you deserve that you think somebody should definitely come along and give you something instead of you working for it it ain't gonna work like that sweetie shout out to kevin samuels he's a man that spoke the truth he spoke it and, and he had took a lot on his back because you know it and he's not perfect and shout out to the women that was bold enough to get on his live stream and talk to him and y'all knew what you was gonna get when you went up there so shout out to you as well i wouldn't celebrate nobody's death look you putting that karma on what y'all call karma you putting that on yourself when you start celebrating somebody's death you better you better make sure you prayed up because your day's coming like i, I don't know why, what made y'all think that god is not the same god he was yesterday and that if you speak evil on somebody you are inviting evil into your own house watch your kids because you are you're celebrating the demise of somebody's life you don't think that that's going to tap on your door you you better be prayed up that's all i gotta say and make sure y'all like this video look if you don't agree with what i'm saying that's fine you are entitled to not agree with what i'm saying but if you can't if you can take anything from what i'm saying take the knowledge and leave what does not pertain to you but if it's going to make you a better person closer to becoming a high value of high value then take that take it from whoever it comes from god can speak through anything he can speak through anyone and if you asking God for something and when he comes through a Kevin Samuels, you, you judging him so bad, you can't even get the blessing because you looking for it to come pretty in package when it may not come like that. It may come in a sword and the truth cuts like a sword, like a two edged sword. So if you can't receive the blessing that God might have through a Kevin, stop asking for it.